reforms by the government reforms took by the government of india am audible so government of india took the number of the reforms the land reforms in relation to as the increasing as a surface area for the agriculture production for which as government abolished it finished as a zamindari system it allotted a land to those which were as a needy especially as a refugees third one as a consolidation of a land holdings the smaller agriculture fields becomes as a bigger in size the, that process was known as a consolidation of land holdings then fourth one as a collectivization collectivization in which as a government occupied so that land which was left by the refugees sorry those people which left the country after the partition that land collected and given to those which were as a needy persons then uh, next as a ceiling on a land holdings ceiling on a land holdings collectivization is also known as a ceiling on a land holdings next as a scheme as a kisan credit card government initiated a number of schemes for improving the agriculture production for which as kisan credit cards kcc kisan credit cards given to the farmers in this scheme as a some amount of a money procured it has given to the farmers farmer they can withdraw at any of a time throughout the year throughout the season as per their necessities either for the agriculture needs or for their family needs so in kisan credit cards as a nominal charge of interest rate charged by the banks on the basis of a debt, such kisan credit card uh, banks they lending a money to the farmers and farmer complete their basic necessities the other needs as per their necessities they can spend that money there was as a condition when they spend when they use the that money under such circumstances only as a interest rate on charge on that amount which has withdrawal by the farmer for example a farmer has procured as a 1 lakh rupee which has given by the bank out of which a 1 lakh then 10000 used by the farmer throughout the year so interest rate it will be charged on a 10000 neither on a rest of the 90000 clear so this scheme has initiated only for the promotion of agriculture second as pas p a i s personal accidental insurance scheme personal accidental insurance scheme which supported to the cattle insurance and the crop insurance in any of a state if the disaster hit the area disaster hit, hit the area through as a fire in any of a state when the crop failure occur crop has not possible in a agriculture season under such circumstances whatever the expenses of the farmer it will be paid by the government through the insurance third is a subsidy on a par util fertilizers and the pesticides government given as a subsidy to the government given as a subsidy to the those farmers which are as a needy and need to purchase their own agriculture appliances fertilizers or the seeds materials under such circumstances some amount of a money relieved by the government to their agencies for which as a fca it was as a form and the other number of agencies the governmental agencies which are given as a opportunities to farmers through which as the subsidies given to the farmers if the farmer has purchased their own agricultural machinery plowshares tractors combined threshers under such uh, circumstances some amount of a money of a total cost of a that particular machine it will be as a relax from the side of the government so subsidies given on a par machines fertilizers pesticides seeds etc fourth one as a establishment of a gramin banks cooperative banks for the farmers government given as a cooperative society to the uh, farmers to which they can lend the money they can one as a kisan credit card other as a banks also procured two percentage of their total assets total number of loans especially for the farmers in which as a cooperative societies which are charging as a low interest rate charging as low interest rate they are lending a money to the farmers next one is a special weather bulletins are published from the side of the government weather bulletins in relation to the what kind of crops are required for the which season what time as the favorable for the irrigation pesticides etc 
for which as a number of programs telecast from the site of the government for which as e chopals are also works e chopals are also work because mostly in the rural areas farmers are not access towards the uh, internet so to to provide the information about the rest of the world what research what awareness has spread in other countries it has easily provided to the e chopal e hyphen chopal c h o u p a l this is as a organization not a organization this is as a uh, agency which has work for the providing as information to the farmers in through the through the village panchayats next one is the government has organized the some of the crop competitions and agriculture fairs to make the farmers aware about the changes which are introduced in agriculture so agriculture fairs these organized by the government through the agencies next one is government has established the regional markets mandis and connected them by the roads to the villages to which are farmers they can easily access towards the market and sell sell their crop and earn a good margin of the profits so government has also set the msp minimum support price government has set the msp minimum support price one year prior to the production one year prior to production it means that the, that type of a crop which will be harvest in a harvest in october 2022 their msp their minimum support price is already decided so on the basis of a minimum support price farmer it can choose the such crops which will be as a more favorable more profitable for it more profitable for it for example if the rice prices are the low if there is a good margin in a sugar cane or either in a sunflower sunflower groundnut then the farmer it will produce as a such crop which will be more beneficial for which as a msp has already decided on already decided by the government because if the msp decided by the government after the harvesting of a crop in a next year it will be sold in a market at that prices it may be as a increase as per the circumstances circumstances in the sense if the disaster if the any uh, abnormal conditions are prevailing in a area for which as to which as farm production has affected under such circumstances government has given as a compensation or bonus support with support to the msp with support neither they can purchase the goods below than the msp because farmers producing because on the basis of a msp so on the behalf of a msp farmer produce a goods and on the basis of a sorry at the time of the selling of a crop harvesting of a crop afterwards a crop it will be sold at the more than the more than the msp not as the less than of it these were as the institution reforms in relation to the agriculture now next as the technical reforms technological reforms these were also initiated under as a green revolution which initiated in the 1960s because after the independence of our country it was a severe problem faced by the government as a how to feed as a 35 crores of population 35 crores of population because most most of the agriculture at that time it was as a subsistence in a smaller agriculture fields smaller agriculture fields with the use of a traditional methods of farming so that's why the government it can't complete the necessity of a food of people so they decided to import the food grains but afterwards the 1960s government Uh, sorry in 1950s when the planning commission was set up afterwards the five years planning it initiated in which as a sectoral growth of our economy began sectoral growth first as a government decided to improve as a agriculture production 1951 to the 1956 second as a 1957 to the 62 1962 so in this era the second five year plan as a green revolution they planned their uh, planning it was as a begin which uh, which implemented around as a 19 mid of the 1970s mid of 1970s as a green revolution introduced in india through which as modern machinery use of tractors trailers levelers combines threshers harvesters they introduced in agriculture through which as their production improved second as uh, in green revolution assured irrigation facilities these were provided by the government 
assured irrigation facilities provided by the government so for which as a number of canals were obtained for example for example as a indira gandhi canal because after independence of our country bakhra nangal was the first dam which was built over a satluj it was as a first dam of india which constructed after the independence so it was constructed over a satluj through which as a two important canals were obtained one as a sarhind canal which has drained the areas of a south western south western southern parts of punjab including as a haryana also and the second canal is indira gandhi indira gandhi canal which drained towards as the rajasthan so assured irrigation facilities provided by the government third hyv seeds high yielding varieties of seeds for which as government it was it set the number of the agriculture universities where the genetically modified seeds introduced in agriculture introduced in agriculture punjab agriculture university in this process fourth one as a expansion uh, sorry the timely use of a pesticides insecticides weedicides in agriculture for which as awareness provided to the farmers awareness provided to farmers so these were as a technical reforms introduced in relation to agriculture to improve the agricultural production then it uh, agriculture it makes india as a self reliant in a food grains and it improved the economic standard of farmers those farmers which were the earlier as a poorer now they becomes as a prosperous but green revolution it only emphasized over the northern states and punjab haryana and the western parts of uttar pradesh neither in the rest of the world rest of the india sorry rest of the india it only emphasized over punjab haryana and the northwestern parts of uttar pradesh so these were as a technical and institutional reforms technical and institutional reforms next one as a contribution of agriculture to the national economy national economy as employment and as employment and the output agriculture is a mainly the india base of a indian economy our economy based upon agriculture because more than 60% job opportunities directly indirectly provided by the agriculture sector but they share in a economy it's very as very less 20 to 30 percent agriculture has contributed in a gdp of our country so its contribution to the gdp as a 20 to the 30 percent around 27 percent it provides the employment and the livelihood to the around 63 percentage of the total population as according to the 2011 census 2011 so agriculture provides as a food security and agriculture products are sold in a international market to earn as a foreign currency that currency which is as a favorable for use in a other secondary and a tertiary sector activities due to as a fall in a gdp has registered which has declining trend since 1951 this happened to be a serious matter and government made the efforts to maintain high gdp contribution by modernizing the agriculture establishing the agriculture universities veterinary services animal breeding centers horticultural growth horticultural growth uh, then as a resource and development in a metrology meteorology m e t e o r o l o g y meteorology it is as a science of a study about the weather changes what changes are occurred in a weather meteorology for which as a center was developed in a uttarakhand in uttarakhand dehradun indian meteorological department has set up dehradun through which as a weather forecast every day it, that report has published in a dd national through which as farmers they can predict that the, after the after 24 48 or 72 hours what kind of a weather climatic changes it will be occur in a that state that particular climatic condition that particular locality so on the basis of a such weather bulletins they can harvest or sowing as their crops as per their necessities as per their necessities so this help in a raising the gdp as saving the livelihood of farmers but agriculture is not generating enough employment farmers are facing as a problems at times they do not get minimum prices fixed by the government certain restrictions on export to have the affected them badly 
decline in import duties on agriculture products decrease in a subsidies fertilizers power irrigation delay in payment most most of the time with the sugarcane it has a little bit of sugarcane and a cotton farmers are not paid on time by the producers by the manufacturers they are purchasing as a raw sugarcane or a raw cotton but they are not paid on time which is also as a one of the drawbacks of agriculture that's why uh, most number of farmers these are not preferring to producing the such goods such kind of a crops to which as they are not getting as a earnings on time clear so this was our chapter agriculture any questions this was our chapter agriculture yes